Well, welcome back. I guess today is going to be organization day, right? <laughs> we got some new products in boxes here. I don't know about these totes. I got to go through them all. There's a bunch of random stuff in all those totes. Jeans, all kinds of stuff. Old booster seat, Some totes of tools. This is cool. <laughs> it's like a African mask. crazy somebody spent some time making that thing that's for sure thought that was cool well this bike was a leftover somebody left it there it's pretty beat up I don't think I'm even probably just gonna scrap it but maybe you know, tires are dry rotted and you know it's pretty hit we got Tucker and Sammy Schwinn over here. I don't know what's going to go on with this thing, but... Figure something out with it. Tires might actually pump up. They don't even look that dry rotted. Surprisingly. They look fairly new. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll start. What's in this one? I don't even remember. Oh, plant hangers and muffin trays. If anything, those would be just scrap. This one's pretty beat up, but that one's probably scrap. It's pretty beat up. Well, we get to work. Start pulling this stuff out of here. This was in one of Freddy's boxes, a little mini. Huh. Thought that was cool. I've been finding a lot of these Rubbermaid totes, so I've been keeping them. Went through one, this small tote already, and kind of start. There's an electrical box. Some electrical things. This is light iron. It's just trash. This one's just going to be aluminum. And then heavy iron in here. Pretty much broken stuff. So, I figure, go through here and start making, look at this tripod. It's missing the plate on top, but it's a good, it's a good tripod, it looks like. Vivitar. Just a lot of sorting. Tools that might be able to sell. Oh, that one's missing the lock, but whatever. I did sell these, like, surprisingly. All the ones I took there, I sold, so. I guess I'll throw that in there, too. You know, you wouldn't think that they would, anybody would want those things, but apparently they do still. I sold a scraper like this the other day too, yesterday. And a piece of brake line. Oof. That's trash. What the heck is that? gonna be a lot of trash in these things but whatever it was like literally like two bucks a tote or something I don't know it's gotta be there's a couple things in each one of these here's a rusty feeler gauges I guess you can't use them for feeler gauges if they're rusty I did find one in the bottom of the other tote that was brass so that one's in there 
I hear the turkeys. Yep. So this, ooh, look, zip ties. Scores. Oh, this was in there too. All these weird connectors and this crimp tool. The bag, the papers rotted. I'm just going to put them in a Ziploc. What is this, a doorstop? Portable lamp. Scrap. <laughs> you get your trash can around and that's scrap. A little flashlight. Meh. Huh. All the batteries ain't exploded. So that's good. Maybe I got some double A's kicking around I can throw in there. If they work, people will buy them. Ooh, what's that? Stromberg? Somebody's artwork. Oh, I guess this is for that lamp. Hmm. There's only one of them in there. That's what that thing was for. Oh, these are good. I actually need this. That can stay here. That's a good one. Oh, well, they just fill these things with all kinds of randomness. Mm, that's some small keys. Center. Okay. What is this? It says Badger on it. <laughs> that is the weirdest top I've ever seen. Huh. Fiberglass resin. United Wire Low Temperature Brazing Alloy Okay I don't know what that is. Service parts. Master cylinder. Ain't even nothing in there. Oh, here we go. McMaster car. We got some Allen head bolts. There was a mouse in here. I don't know what that is. But... <laughs> God, what is this? More hardware. Universal Joint Repair Kit. What? Really? Hmm. Scrap. Ew. Rusty hardware. What is this? Holy, that is a lot of screws. Something was in there, but it's all brazen rods. All this stuff got rained on, too. Soldering and brazing flux. I don't know. That stuff's probably no good. 
All right. Ooh, copper. Well, that paid for the whole tote right there. <laughs> Sweet. Old gasoline gauge. Huh. I guess we'll put them in there. You never know. Give them a couple shots. Maybe somebody's looking for that. What is this? 1931 Plymouth. Huh. $18. Wow. Alright, we might have to look that up. That might be an eBay item. We got here lightweight. Grommets. Here's another universal joint repair kit. I don't understand what the. Oh, 28 to 32 DeSoto. Hmm. Are these used or not used? Well, this one's not used. Well, they might be worth keeping. The other one was used, definitely. I don't know. That might be. Yeah, well, we'll put them in there, see what the hell happens, right? Ugh, glue traps. Hmm. Slotting kit. No clue on that one. So much stuff in here. What is this? Soldering iron. Trim seal tool. There's a lot of old car stuff in here, huh? Brackets for something important. Piece of marble. It's crazy the stuff you finding these totes though another ampere gauge Nimco Igniter. Some, some sort of ignition coil or something. Ew, my seas. Well, I don't want to bore you guys too much. This is basically what's going down today oh look at that old ignition switch or headlight switch or something it's probably a headlight switch some more of those oh wait look at that good stuff you got my good stuff mm. Guy definitely had some old car stuff here. Oil pressure gauge. <laughs> A record. Shop around. Who's loving you? Hmm. These are old car lights, huh? Car light bulbs. Hmm. Eh, I guess we'll take them. Put them on the table for a dollar, see if anybody's interested. Bunch of old guys there. They buy all kinds of stuff. What is this? Surface hardening compound. 
for case hardening iron and steel. Hmm. Uh, aluminum rivets. More hardware. And then we're going to scrap those ones. Huh. Another oil pressure gauge. Well, I'll come back if I find anything really interesting. There's another oil pressure gauge. This guy was collecting old stuff for sure. Well, not that they're usable or sellable, but it's pretty cool. Huh. Made in Germany. To clip over your clip over your slippery old shoes. Right? That's pretty cool. The rubber's all decayed on them and stuff, but I don't know. I guess I'll put them in there, you know, give them a shot before they go to the landfill. Maybe some old man wants to reminisce or something. I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff in here, man. Long Allen head bolts. All right. There's still two more totes up there. I got to go through. So. Found this old starter switch. Probably gonna keep in my hoard. Huh. Alright, look, like, it's just a brass or I mean copper contact. If you push the button, that's awesome. I think these used to go on top of the starters in the old cars. And uh huh. Wonder where your in wire goes, huh? Because this is making that maybe this just makes the ground contact, huh? Right? Like, this is the ground. This was under, you know, when you had foot pedals in the cars where you would start it on the floor. Maybe this bolted to the floor of a DeSoto or something, and this was the ground. This completed the ground. Yeah, because this is isolated. Right? So this stud is completely isolated from ground, and then when you cut clunk, right? it's pretty cool. I think I'm going to keep that. It's, like, brand new. I mean, it's rusty, but... Copper's in great shape. It's never had any electrical arcs on it. It's pretty sweet. Found a whole set of shoe forms, cobbler things. So that's kind of cool. And then the totes got wet, so all these grinding discs are kind of wet. I'm probably not going to sell them. I'll just keep them for my own stash. Use them a little bit once they dry out. Usually they just wear out real fast. Make it wet like that. All this stuff. There's no barcodes on it, so pre-86, right? It's probably still good, but who knows? But I did find some a uh, couple reamers, and uh, I don't know if these are carbide or not, but they might be. If not, they're tool steel, so that's cool. I can use them, put them in my lathe stuff for machining. You can't read the label anymore, but. Brand new, never been used. Sweet. So I'll put them in the reamers in mine. These stones are probably trash because they got wet. Maybe not. I'll let them kick around for a little while. This is an isolator standoff. A standoff isolator. Like uh, air boxes for like Mercedes use these. There's a bunch of different stuff. They're good for mountain uh, air compressors too. You know, to keep them from vibrating. Oh, and this snap on therm you know insulated coffee cup that'll definitely sell I'll go wash it up that's pretty cool and this is an ignition switch for something it's got part numbers on here but there's no brand it's brand new it looks like it's import you know like Nissan or something definitely looks Nissan or Honda I don't know. Probably just junk, but I'll keep it around in my hoard, I guess. We got one more tote to go through over there. Let's see what's in that one. This one's all tools, basically. Look, I got some of these little and 
some, look at these. When was the last time you seen these? These are all plastic now, right? For grout. I have no clue what this is. It looks like it's a, you know, pestle, pummel thing, whatever. I don't know. Chisels. Here's another big, big choo choo. Oh, it's broke. Trash. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> the other one's good. A rat tail file. This is a cool little tray that hangs on the side of your toolbox. Like an angled socket tray. You know, it's got the lip. That'll, somebody will definitely buy that for a dollar. All right, let's drag that other one back here and see what we can get. All right. Check this out. Brake pedal. It was down in one of those totes. It's out of something. I'm going to have to figure out. There's a part number on here. 378946-2 with a B on it. Is that for a Bentley? Probably not. <laughs> but this might be an eBay item. That's for sure. That thing might pay pay out pretty good actually. If I can figure out what it's for. But uh, you know, some old silicone. It still seems like it's soft, but I'll just I'll just use it for my own stuff. And here's that. It's probably for this Plymouth. So you got to go buy that pedal's probably for a Plymouth 1931 Plymouth right there's the stock one that came out of the car here's the one he bought as a replacement right to fix that it's for the shifter and is that I would say it's for the shifter probably shifter and e-brake maybe nah I don't know I don't know what came through this slot. Something did. I have to figure that out. Or maybe this goes down by the gas pedal and one's the gas pedal and one's the brake. You know what I mean? The big pedal probably goes through the big hole and the gas pedal went through there. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll look it up. Figure out what this part's for. But at least we got something to go off of, right? Plymouth. That's probably Plymouth. Check out these saw blades. That's pretty cool. 18 by one and a half. I think these are for one of those old school automatic, you know, drop saws that take the big blades and they everybody always puts a motor on them that's way too fast and they're like, <laughs> cool clamp, cool clamp that works. This clamp works. Big old suction cup they had eight dollars on. I don't know. The cobbler things you've seen. A couple pieces of... I don't know what this is. It looks like it's some sort of resin. You see all the layers in there? It looks like... I don't know if you can see it on camera. It looks like rings of a tree. So, is this Markita? Is it Bakelite? I'm not sure. Resin? But anyway, I'll put this in my personal hoard for lathe stuff. Never know chuck that in the lathe and make something out of it one of these days maybe or somebody will find it in a tote when I'm dead right this this saw protractor is pretty cool somebody will definitely buy that black and decker company these triangles you know speed wrenches old oil can spouts that's pretty sweet there's a couple of them in here Old adjustable wrench. They had a five dollar price tag on that wrench. Some rubber 3M rubber tape. It's not non-sticky. Is it sticky? Oh yeah, it's a little sticky, but it's worn out. Well, whatever. That's cool. Like I said, I think all those totes was like six dollars altogether. They were, went for like nothing. Oh. Heavy iron, a jack, a little bit of aluminum. This is all white iron, just crap. This battery tray, brand new, made in Taiwan. It looks like it's for an S10 or a Chevy pickup maybe or something. I don't know, might keep that around. And then all this electrical stuff came out of there too. So I can start my electrical hoard back up again. Look at this old switch. Huh. 
They don't make them like that anymore, huh? And there's some boxes, a lot of steel boxes, some porcelain fixtures, plastic box. I got a bunch of other electrical stuff kicking around. I'll just mix it all in this box and take the whole box there. Some uh, Romex, Romex, uh, what do you call them? Mounts, things. And this old switch. Put the light on it. Quiet switch and pilot light. Yep. Some of these guys. Oh, I did find one thing. It was weird. I threw it in the strap bin. Yeah, here it is. Look at this thing. <laughs> Old two prong adapter. That's crazy. <laughs> I thought that was cool. Definitely not sellable, nor would I want to use it, but it's pretty crazy. Alright, we'll see what else we get into today. I wanted to get this stuff out of the truck before it starts raining. There's some stuff in the cab. If I find anything interesting in there, I'll, I'll come back. This is some of the stuff that was in the truck. <clears throat> Old Cornwell ratchet. I think it's broken, though. Some Craftsman wrenches. Ooh, somebody had a bad day, huh? <laughs> uh, this thing's cool though it takes quarter inch drive it's switchable you know put bits in it Pretty sweet here's the bit for it actually it's got to go in it put that in later there's a craftsman japanese distributor wrench so that's an old one right all these screwdrivers and files and nut drivers Rubber, rubber hammer, whatever. Some old, an old Sears. Oh, you see it? An old Sears one. Fuller. Number 112. Japan. That's a good one. Some weird, weird old ones. Vice grips. This one's Korea. Kind of looks like a nice cutter, though. Might work good for wire. This thing's Craftsman. Adjustable box end wrench or something. Hmm. Yeah, Craftsman needle nose vice grips. Adjustable. What is this? I don't know. Anyway, check out this old crayon box, right? 15 cents. Wow. <laughs> it's fun digging through this stuff, that's for sure. Oh, found one snap on wrench. Look at that guy. I bet you they thought it was broke. Uh, I gotta look that up. That might pay for both these boxes alone. I think this, the, both these boxes were 12 bucks, I think, for both of these. They were fighting over them inside, so that mixer came with it too. Just one snap on them. So I got these boxes of uh, digital camera starter kits. They got cleaning kits in them and bags and tripods. I don't know. I figured it was it was like two dollars for those ones and like two dollars for a whole box of these. There's like eight of them or wait, there's four in each box, so twelve of them in here. Well, eleven because there's one missing. I might have it in the truck though. But anyway, they got tripods in them and cleaning kits. I figured I'd keep a couple just for extra tripods. I'll try to sell the rest of them. And this uh, basket is pretty cool. This had a bunch of tools in it outside so whatever and this old fisher price booster seat sesame street <laughs> sesame street school bus one i don't know I figure i'll look it up on ebay and see if anything sesame street collectors or something's looking for that if not i'll take it to the flea and i think you guys seen those two boxes some peg pegboard hooks and then I got boxes and boxes of these there's 380 in each box or in each big box I don't know how many is in each small box but they're they're groomerangs groomerang 
the beard styling comb that keeps giving back. I'll open one up. Hold on. It's like a plastic beard comb. It comes with directions on how to use it to, you know, use the curve for your chin and the square for the side of your head and goatee line and I don't know. I looked them up on eBay. They're anywhere from two dollars to ten dollars a piece. Sold listings. I was like, what? So I don't know. I guess I'll give Justin a couple boxes and have him post them. And if they start selling good on eBay, we'll just do that. But if not, I'll take them to the flea and do them like I don't know, two for a dollar or something. But I think I got both boxes for six dollars. So three dollars a box. I mean, that's just crazy. But all right. See what else we get into. Oh, seven to twenty-two dollars sold listings. These things are mangled. I don't know what the hell they hit. That's for sure. Some of them are, yeah. There's ones that mark saying Japan. They got like these pearl things on. Mm -hmm. But they're a vintage jewelry. You can do really good sometimes. Mm -hmm. Watch Blue Dust Bus Dave. He puts everything on bids. Yeah. Uh, Occupied Japan would be after the war, so. I thought this was pretty neat. New Zealand. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I don't even know what the hell that it's is. It's a letter opener. This <laughs> I thought was pretty cool too, but I just don't. The price, two bucks. But that's neat. Yeah, it's like for hanging your hat or something on the wall, you but know. But just somebody would love to have this in their house, I guarantee it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Whole, whole buttons. Yeah, for a dollar. Mm -hmm. Was it like garnet or something? I don't know. That's what it looks like. Some sort of stone. That's a crazy ring. Look at that ring. Yeah. It's like amber. You guys watch the pickers? So uh, yeah. Like who? American pickers, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's who that's was sold to. Oh, really? Uh, Jersey John. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't watch mainstream stuff in too much anymore. Good. Uh, I just want to look at that. We're going to take you. There's four of them. There's four? Yeah. Because they're a dollar each. Yep. And this is yours. Look right? at these ones. Oh, the books? I got you. Anything that's fine. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Escape from the planet. Which one is about? They're all authors signed. All of those books there are author signed. Oh, really? Yes, and some of them are inscribed to Marilyn, who was the old one. Oh. Of Buskies.
Yeah, the display yeah, case. Yeah, yeah. People pick through that stuff like crazy, mm-hmm. man. What's she saying about somebody was here picking? Yeah, whatever. The American pickers, they probably got people in every state uh, that do stuff for them, you know. There's a lot of nice furniture in here. Yeah. <gasps> what the heck? <laughs> that cat. Oh, dude, I got this same one. And I had mine priced at five dollars and I couldn't sell it. What Nobody's it bought say? it yet. It's a trivet for but I got the exact same one. Uh, and I had five dollars on mine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, at least I got my pricing somewhat right. So, Probably. I'll press glass here. Look at all these candlesticks or candle holders. That's pretty neat for 15 bucks, dude. There's another trivet for a dollar. Taiwan, 83. They're all brass, brass. yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's a dollar trivet. Three dollars. Taiwan, 1983. Yeah, that's what I was just looking at it. For a dollar. Look at this kitchen up here. That's I crazy. Think you can get a few bucks for that at the flea market. Yeah. What do you put this on? Dude, I got that. Hot plate on this or yeah, it's for like when you take a, a pan off the stove and you put it on your counter, you put it on top of that so it don't melt your counter, you know what I mean? It's called a trivet. I don't know why they call it that, but that's what it's called. Old lady clothes. We don't want that kind. Maybe this purse. What is this? BB. What is BB? $3. Must not be that great. Anything cool? This must have been where they were living and had to store downstairs right here. Nah, it's all vintage women stuff. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. I know that. This was a sewing room apparently. I don't want those black and white pictures, but I want them all. I don't know if I... I don't want to be paying $3 a piece for them. Buy them all, though. You know? I'd like to get all those black and whites, but... She's just got them all priced at $3 a piece or a dollar a piece. What's that? All those black and white pictures that are down there. Because black and white's really coming in now. Yeah, but how much? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I ain't paying three dollars a piece for them. I know that. She's gonna want to count them out. <laughs> it's the first day of this sale, anyway. Yeah, it just this dresser, nice. Yeah, I'll ask her when we go down there. See what she says. I'm not gonna sit there and look through all of them. They're all pretty cool. They're like car crash, say, video, car crash pictures. Like, yeah. Fifty cents on one side, dollar on the other. Dollars for this whole set. I don't think this is copper though. Stainless, Dude, copper coated. They were pretty reasonable. Like they're saying, like you know, just make a pile. Mm-hmm. Pretty 
anything good over there? Or anything? It's all kitchen stuff, yeah. Hey, Justin, yeah. you need rubber bands? There's like whole boxes, big box of rubber bands, nice ones, thick ones. Oh. Do you need them for like How much are they? putting the coat hangers together or something? Maybe. I don't know either, but there's they a lot still of them. seem good. Yeah, there's a lot of them there. So what do you think you'd have to do on all the black and whites that are left? Just count them out and figure it out? Yeah, yeah. I have. I actually have somebody that will buy the whole kit caboodle, whatever's left at the end. Okay. So, um... I got you. I can't do too much on it. I hear you. All right. Yeah. Well, what do you, what do you, I mean, what's he offering for the whole lot of whatever's left? He's just going to piece them out? Like, oh, give you individually? He specializes yeah. in, I got in you. photography. Yeah, well, black and whites in, you know coming back and well, there's some really you, cool ones if you in go there. on snapchat mafia mm -hmm. yeah i don't know if you've ever been on that no it's a it's a facebook page mm -hmm. and you can post these things up and sell them and everybody that deals yeah. and collects black photos yeah. goes yeah. to that site i hear you so mm -hmm. these i think are yeah you got three dollars on most of them yeah, and then like a dollar on these bag ones right yeah did you go through yeah, I just don't feel like looking through all of them. I was just going to... These are three for a dollar. Yeah, I was just going to try to get them all. This one's mean, interesting but... because it's a theater group mm -hmm. from the 1920s. Yeah. And one of them is in blackface. Oh, yeah. Watch out. You have trouble for that now, these, right? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm just going to have to look through them and figure out the cool ones that I want, you know? Yeah, do you want probably better for you to do that and, uh -huh. and I'll still I'll, I'll shave yeah, some. We'll figure it out from there. Alright, let me just look for them then. I'll figure something out. Don't match this. Okay. So these were added. Added on. So yeah. It must have broken. Mm -hmm. So the piece that would have said 14 caracal GF yeah. is missing. But that's it. They do match those. Well, how much is that? Um, well, I'll give you the three. For how much? Three. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. All right, I got a couple files over here. I think. Give me, give me some. Yeah, I got you. I got uh, the, these came out of the dollar bag. Mm -hmm. Those ones were the three for a dollar, yep. and then over there. Yeah, the ones that came out of the. Are... See, they're like yeah. marked. Yeah, yeah. Back. Okay. Oh wait, this one's not in the dollar bag. Oh wasn't... yes, maybe it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. You know what this is, right? Uh, the the no. garage here? No. It says Hertz. Oh. No, that's an early Hertz rental. Oh, rental truck? Yeah, yeah. sweet. Yep. Oh, that's neat. That's cool. I'm just looking for automotive related stuff, you know? So I was just going through there getting whatever was automotive and related things. This this came aground. Yeah. Um, up on LBI. I okay. can't remember the name of it. Yeah. That guy looks like he's sailing with a tarp, right? <laughs> <laughs> Three for a dollar. Over in the other bag. This? Oh no, it goes in that bag over there. I forgot to put that. Yeah, here's the down. And then I got these ones here. These ones are really cool because they're big enough to frame really. Justin, grab this stuff. You got that letter opener, this necklace, this amber ring, which is pretty cool. Looks like it's got some debris in it or something. It's pretty sweet. This 
switch camera so you can get a better look at it. Switch lenses. It's pretty sweet. It's a big one too. Sterling silver. And he's got these amber earrings. 14 carat. There's another one. What's this one? Black pearls or something. And then this necklace here was pretty cool. And it's got matching earrings. All stones. Here's the matching earrings. It's pretty cool. I got all those all those pictures. The black and white automotive related stuff. So I have to go through them and re reprice them and then what'd you say there's another one another state sale right tomorrow morning we're gonna try to go to 8 a.m yeah. all right we'll go hit that one up and see what's over there and then there's a clean out also tomorrow afternoon in like may's landing right yeah. so a friends friends family passed away or something she said there's a bunch of stuff in the garage so i guess that's it for today sign off thanks for watching Comment, rate, subscribe, smash that like button, smash the crap out of it. <laughs>